Sudbury, birthplace of the classic artist Gainsborough, whose life and works are celebrated here. And it's the hometown of a former Arsenal Wembley winner, though there's no Perry Grove Street just yet. The Priory Stadium is modest by any standards, but that's not to say football takes a back seat in this peaceful cultural backwater. These were the chaotic scenes when the FA Cup came to town. No one missed out on their chance with the most famous piece of silverware of them all. From the under eights to the manager and the skipper. And guest for the night, Gary Stevens, a local lad who went all the way to Wembley with Brighton. Well, I guess I have split loyalties because I spent all my schoolboy football about 18 miles down the road from here in Bury St Edmunds. And as a kid, I used to come and watch Sudbury play as well as Bury Town and local sides. And uh, it's a, a great opportunity. I'm very sad that Brighton is struggling at the moment bottom of the third division and uh, I think they've got their work cut out this coming weekend to stay in the FA Cup and sadly because of all the problems they have this might be the last ever FA Cup tie they play certainly captured the imagination of everybody locally uh, and the players um, it's a, it's a fair achievement you know we're quite proud of ourselves um, we're certainly uh, going to enjoy Saturday's game and, and who knows maybe we can go a step further it was Ian Brown's strike that secured victory over Canvey Island and earned Sudbury Town's place in the first round of the Cup for the first time ever. They have been all the way to Wembley, but the 1989 FA Vars ended in anti-climax, with defeat by Tamworth in a replay at Peterborough. I think it'll be a very open game. Um, they tend to, to play good football, Brighton. They play a, a, an open game, and we're exactly the same, so I'm sure it will be uh, open. I'm sure there'll be a few goals, and hopefully we'll get a few more of them. Led by Jimmy Case, who was in Brighton's 1983 final lineup, the Seagulls faced the usual non league mix a swimming pool attendant and double glazing salesman. Postman and skipper Nicky Smith is also training to be a policeman. He scored at Wembley for Colchester in the FA Vars final. We started off at Goldstone back in, I don't know, August, September time. I mean, in front of a crowd of about 50. Uh, we then progressed on to obviously up to now, which will be a great day Saturday with a big crowd. The seeds of inspiration for future FA Cup success have already been sown, whatever happens against Brighton. Tim Abraham, Sky Sports, Suffolk.